Welcome to another video from Smish Studio. This is gonna be an end of August studio vlog. I'm gonna catch you up on what I've been doing over the last couple weeks since my last vlog. F vlog? Vlog. Vlog. I finally launched my shop. It is up. You can find a link to it. I'm so glad to have that off of my plate. The transaction process, the shipping process is so much faster now. I went to Yosemite again. It was great. I went by myself. Um, I just wanted to climb, do some bouldering, do some hiking. I just love being in the valley. It feels like, I don't know, every time I go there, I just feel so at peace. I feel just a huge release of stress. Um, I like living in the city, but I grew up mostly in the country in a rural area and I miss that a lot sometimes, just quiet. Although Yosemite Valley itself can be a little touristy and busy with people, um, but once you're out on the trails and you're, and you can like find a way to like separate yourself from that, um, it's really wonderful. I love I love Yosemite so much. I'll never get enough. <laughs> I'm actually going again in a couple weeks. I feel like I could spend every weekend there for the rest of my life and not do it all. It's just such a huge park. There's so much exploring in mountains. After Yosemite Valley, I went up to Tuolumne Meadows area. Um, it was kind of smoky. My first day in Tuolumne, I went on a hike up to Cathedral Lakes. That area was gorgeous. There was, it had its own like meadow. You could see huge peaks. You could see Cathedral Peak. The next day after hiking, I went to bouldering with a friend. I explored some bouldering areas around Tuolumne Meadows and that was super fun. That was probably one of my favorite days. I don't know, every day being there was great. The climbs were just fun. Uh, I didn't climb anything super crazy. I kind of like to just go outside and enjoy what I'm doing and not feel super stressed about safety. <laughs> the bouldering day was great and then the next day I climbed. My friend that met me, she's into trad climbing or crack climbing I guess. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail about climbing but uh, she took me up a multi-pitch route uh, that was 550 feet tall up to the top of one of the huge domes in Tuolumne Meadows area. It was just gorgeous. I could see Tenaya Lake from there. The climb itself <laughs> was so long. Like I'm used to climbing kind of like 10 to 20 feet boulders. And then this was like 550 feet boulder. Not a boulder, it's like a mountain, but the distance <laughs> was more than I'm used to. I really loved doing that. And it's something that I want to get into more. After getting back from Yosemite and Tuolumne, I felt a lot of motivation to work on my print designs and I felt like I had a lot of free time or I was able to make more time for it. Um, don't know where that time just suddenly appeared from that I felt like I didn't have before this, but I pumped out like three print designs. I'll show them to you. It's all that Echo Lake series. So this one's Echo Lake. I finished this one. I made it kind of too detailed at first and then I had to go in and take a bunch of details away just to make the foreground and the middle ground and the background stand out more from each other because it kind of looked like one just muddied thing of scribbles. My other design, this is a tree from around Echo Lake. I saw this tree while I was hiking and I really wanted to like do a print of it. Um, so I did this one pretty fast. It took me a couple days. I just, I love how the like leaves on the tree look. Um, this one has a lot of detail in it. I don't know if I'm going to put all these details into the actual print, but I'm trying to kind of make my digital drawings a little more detailed and it's something I'm enjoying as a, like a separate activity. I might eventually just do digital drawings of stuff and not do a print of everything that I draw because uh, doing prints takes a really long time for me. <laughs> Here's a second photo. Ta-da! 
Um, so this is the second tree that I want to do. This is the finished drawing. I had to kind of take away, like darken some of the background stuff because it stood out too much. I think a lot of those background details are gonna look a lot lighter when I actually make the block. Uh, but this was a much more complex image that I simplified a lot. So I have one more tree to do and then I'm done with the design phase. And these are all gonna be five by seven blocks. I think the actual Echo Lake landscape is gonna be a six by eight, just because I happen to have a block that size and some five by sevens. Don't know how that happened. So ready to start carving again. I think that's gonna be really fun. And once I get started, I'm kind of like a carving monster and I just have to knock it all out. Oh yeah, I have some shows coming up in November and December that I'm so psyched for. <laughs> Uh, they're, I mean, they're not like big deal shows, but they're at some local climbing gyms in this area and my artwork always sells really well in climbing communities. It sells well and it sells well around the holiday season. So I'm trying to finish these for that show and I want to make some bigger prints as well, some like 16 inch by 12 inch woodcut prints. So I have a lot of work to do. I think I can get it all done. I want to do like two to four big prints of like Tahoe areas in Yosemite. So projects coming. Okay, so that's all I've got for this studio vlog. Uh, that kind of catches you up to right now. Today is September 2nd. Why do I, I always like stare off into space and think about that for a really long time. Like it's September. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's September 2nd and that's what I've been up to. Climbing, block, print, design, drawing, and starting my shop. I think finishing that shop really brought my motivation for everything else way up. Uh, I know I made the shop update so much more of a thing in my head than it needed to be now that I'm done. And sometimes that just happens, but I got it done. It doesn't matter that it took me like five months it's not that hard. It's not that hard to make a whole like online shop. It was just very hard for me. Um, glad it's done and now I can focus on just making art. Thank you for watching. Appreciate your time. Um, check out my shop if you haven't done so before. Also follow me on Instagram at Smish Studio. Hope you're ready for some stuff, for some prints to start rolling out. Maybe a studio. Bye.